What's up, Wayne Brown here with darkfix.net and we're inside of Adobe InDesign CC. And what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be setting our margins. And so uh, with our A master selected, let's come over here to layout, margins, and columns. And once the dialog box opens up, make sure that preview, if it's not checked, make sure that it is checked. Okay, now you got this little chain link right here. If you un click the chain link then you can see here and you can mess with the top and it will not affect the bottom then you can come over here and watch the bottom here you can affect the bottom and it will not affect the top and so um, do the inside over here the outside as well everything works independently so let's go ahead and change that back okay so now uh, if you was to click on the link, then you can actually change the margin just working with one side And then it would change the margin for all sides and So 625 seems like a really good one here because I've got mine set for inches. So that sets it really nice So let's go ahead and uh, uh, You can also change the column so you can set it at two columns if that's what you want and your gutter right here Which is this area here? You can actually make it uh, to where it's nothing, and then you can actually bring that gutter way on out. And so, but yeah, this right here, if you was to run this, that right there seems like a very good gutter size. However, I'm not going to use but only one column, so I do not need to mess around with this area. So, after you've set up your A master, then you will need to come into your B master because whatever you do inside of your A does not affect your B master. So you will have to come into your B master and select your layout, your margins and columns, and then you will have to set it up as well. And so, uh, so however you've got your A, if you want to make it duplicated, so if you do not remember what you had set, the best thing to do is come over here to layout, rollers and just copy that and then come inside of your B layout margin and then paste it in and then it will uh, set it all for whatever you need okay Wayne Byrne here with darkfix.net instead of Adobe InDesign CC y'all have a rocking time now bye bye